come in friends or all that, shoot me something, homie, when you dropping that. Maybe I could be the biggest rapper working in the business. Wait, I never thought of that. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. When that bottle pours, I just keep drinking this. What's going on, guys? Donnie Bling. I'm back on some Smite. Um, I definitely think that Susano is one of the harder gods playing the game. His one combo, you have to auto attack cancel and everything, so it's definitely one of the hardest combos, if not the hardest combo in the game. And I think Susano is going to be my more ma my new main. I've been uh, playing with him for about the last, I would say, week and a half. Yeah, about a week and a half. I'm getting pretty good with him. Um, I def yeah, I definitely think this is going to be my new main. But I figured I would jump into the jou some joust with you guys and uh, just play, see how it goes. I was trying to do some clash games, but like the queues were so long. So... I figured I better just not. So I'm gonna play Jowl's game. Hopefully you can get a win and uh, showcase some of the ways you can use Susano. Always learning, always trying to get better with him. But uh, I've definitely got a lot better with him in the last like three, four days. I definitely stepped up my game like a lot, and I definitely just messed up that teleport uh, right out of spawn. But we're gonna see what we can do here. Uh, the main build that I run. I'll show you guys real quick. I go Warrior Tabby and then straight in the Transcendence, get those stacks built up. Hydras, because after you use an ability, your next basic attack does 50% damage. It's really good. Crusher is really good on Susano because after you use an ability, then you get basically just more damage. Um, Heart Seeker, every five basic attacks, your next ability does 80% of your physical power, so that's really nice. And then to top it off at the end, Blood Forge with extra life still. A lot of power so yeah and then what I'll do is if somebody like let's say Ymir or uh, what's his name over there Kumba if he's running if they're both running a lot of armor I'll swap out Heartseeker for Titan's Bane because even though on Heartseeker on the fifth basic attack you get like that 80% uh, scaling or whatever Titan's Bane will make all of your abilities pen more overall so Titan's Bane's a little bit better if you're if somebody's running a lot of armor but this is what I run most of the time but yeah, we're, let's see what we can do here. Susano is really mobile. Like, it's really hard to lock him down. That's why I like him so much. That's why I like playing Alphong so much. Let's pull him in real quick. Let's get him real quick. Oh, thank you, Ymir. And Ymir came and stole my shit. Thanks. I meant to say thanks there, but I'm just going to back. Start sack, start getting this transcendence build up. But, like I just showed you right there, that teleport plus dash. Um, You cover a lot of distance on that. And there's so many different escape moves. That's why I run blink on Susano too, because that's just another escape slash another way to attack somebody. I'm going to show you guys a really cool combo I like to do. Um, which is basically you pop your tornado or your ultimate and then you blink in, pull back, spam all of your abilities on them and then it basically guarantees you a hit with your, your ult. I don't know who this guy thinks he is over here. I keep running into Raw's one. It's alright though. I've been playing a lot of jungle or conquest lately. I've been focusing on jungle because I usually run jungle out Kwong, but now that I'm switching to Seuss main, just because he's honestly like the funnest god to play, in my opinion, that I've found so far, Susano is the most fun. That's why I'm gonna switch to main and him. Alright, let's see if I can let's see if we can chip them down a little bit. I'll show you guys the combo. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna back real quick. And get a uh, second tier for transcendence, and I'll come back and see if I can hit that combo on somebody. <clears throat> a lot of people think that you have to run crits with Susano, and that's actually not the case. I don't run any crits at all. You can do that, but at the end of the day, you want your ability. He's very ability ability based, so you don't really want to be running crits. It's gonna help you 
yeah, it's going to help you burst people down with your basic attack, but at the same time, you want Susano's abilities to be doing more damage at the end of the day, because you're going to be auto attack canceling in between his one most of the time. So you definitely want his abilities to be doing that, because then you're going to be chipping away more damage. All right, we're about to see if I can go get this raw here. back up all right i'm on cooldown for a second so here we go with the fucking the dog again just get this shit off me that's another thing if you're stunned with some people you can actually oh you bastard I didn't mean to do that. Alright, I'm messing up right now. A little bit of camera jitters, but it's alright. We're gonna back. I think I'm just gonna wait here for transcendence. There's so many different combos you can do with Susano. And currently I have about 3,400 fantasy points. And you need 3,500 for that nice Susano skin. It's called Titanium Ronin, I'm pretty sure. So. I'm going to be definitely grinding this game out today to get that. I'm going to be getting it in the next few games here, hopefully. I'm going to go grab XP camp real quick just because I'm a little behind. The yeah, mirror is really all over me. I don't know why. We got a nice kill lead to start, which is nice. When you guys run Transcendence on Susano too, you want to make sure that you're picking that item first right after Boots because you want to you want to start some stacks. Trans is a really good ability or item on him. I think. My ult's down for 12. Now I'm probably going to see if I can combo one of them. Hopefully our Artemis can poke one of them down a little bit and I'll go in. And Koomba's right behind me. Thanks for letting me know, guys. That's the combo I was talking about right there. You guarantee your ultimate literally like 95% of the time, and I'm like dead here. No, I'm not. So that was a good kill right there. I'm gonna back. Get Hydras online. I'll actually get tier 2 of Hydras. Nice. All right, I'm on my way. <clears throat> he does use a lot of mana, though, for an assassin, so you got to watch out for that. Especially in Conquest, make sure you grab two mana pots. I think I'm going to snag their blue here. Oh, never mind. They got it already. Is the red buff up? All right, nice. Yeah, you can take that. Let's see. Let's get out of there. That's the thing with Susana. Like, it is so hard to lock him down just because he has a dash. And uh, his teleport, which is his B, and on top of that, you're dishing damage out. You can literally just go in with so many different ways. And if you add blink, that's another way you can attack or get out. Go in, and then you have at least one escape ability, and you can use all of your abilities almost, and you have at least one way to get out no matter what. I think Raw is going to be dead here. Combo this up. Oh, I messed that up bad. Kumba's on me, Raw just hit me, which means I'm pretty much dead. Your middle tower is under attack. Not dead, I'm out. Nice job, guys. Alright, I'm gonna back here. Just gonna wait for Hydras to get online. I'll get the full Hydras on, then I'm gonna go straight into 
Crusher. Crusher is really good because you get attack speed, power, pen, and on top of that, your damaging abilities, they uh, they do additional damage. And even on top of that, Susano's passive basically just says, I'm going to give you damage. So it's really nice. This build, overall, like the base build that I run, I don't even run it for super pen, and you get a lot of pen out of it. And then, like I said, you can switch out um, Heart Seeker for Titan's Bane. Alright, cool, they surrendered. But yeah, you can switch out Heart Seeker for Titan's Bane if somebody's running a lot of armor. And then, make sure your abilities hit harder against a lot of uh, armor. So, that's really nice. But uh, yeah, so I guess that was a nice little quick game for you guys. I'm glad to be back. Um going to be trying to upload a lot more now that I have my new computer and everything. So, yeah, it's been Donnie Bling, guys.